I've known Paul Booth for 15 years probably, but um, you know, I'm always super busy. He's always super busy. We haven't spent a lot of time together because that's just how tattooers are. It's just kind of like, hey, what's up? Or I'll send him a beer. Or, you know, hey, good to see you at the next show or whatever, and, and that's about it. Like, we never really sat down and talked. The only tattoo I'm scheduled to do, uh, Skin Deep Magazine had a charity raffle. And uh, the raffle was for, much like in America, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, but it's the England version of that. Sad stuff. And so I couldn't say no to that, even with a broken arm. I'm like, we'll figure something out. I'll do a collaboration with Dave Tedder and Tony Mancia. Uh, right before I started, I went up to uh, Paul. I was like, hey, Paul, I'm stuck doing this charity cancer thing, man. You want to you wanna climb in on this and do a little tattooing? And honestly, his, his immediate reaction was, because you now this is Paul Booth, you got to remember, he sleeps on a coffin and he tattoos for amputated body parts. His response was, is it pro-cancer? <laughs> so I'm all stoked now. I'm like, I'm running back to the booth and I'm like, hey, Dave, Tony, fucking Paul Booth wants a tattoo with us. That's awesome. And I, all of a sudden, like, I'm a little kid. Like, I'm forgetting that, that like, I'm actually being paid to be there. <laughs> you know, like, I, I'm all like, yes. Let's do something cool. I confer with Paul quite a bit about things like the light source. How are we going to light it? Where is the shadows? What is, is it a subtle light source? Is it a hard light source? Like, we really kind of got to get on the same page because none of us have tattooed together yet. I've never even tattooed with Tony Mancia before, even though he works at All or Nothing. Um, so it's a big deal. He's going to come in and really try and just fuck our game up. You know, like if we're going this right. direction, he's going to try and force right. it in this direction. And then he's going to have the vault, so whatever he leaves us with, now we're going this way. We're going to keep going yeah. that way. I'm like, no, 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 you can't tell anybody. Like, I didn't want a big crowd of people, you know. I just wanted to play it off like we were just doing one gay little tattoo, and, and it worked. It's ironic because, uh, in honor of you, we are actually doing two simultaneously the first time of all or nothing tattoo. Tandem dead babies. Tandem dead babies. Wow, I am honored. And in the middle of it, Darren White walks by, who I had never met until this trip. And all of a sudden, I'm like, hey, Darren, grab some gloves. He's like, awesome. He gets in, starts tattooing. Like, he's all stoked. He's never tattooed with me or with Paul. Like, this great, amazing explosion of art starts to happen and we're all just pumped about it. Luckiest cocksucker ever. Dude, why can't we ever tattoo each other this way? Tattooing black and gray in front of Paul Booth is kind of like playing guitar in front of Jimi Hendrix. Like no matter what you do, it's gonna suck. So if I come down to your shop, is there a choice of all or nothing? Is it like a choice? It is. It is. We will definitely... And do uh, I have to pay if I choose nothing? Definitely. Good man. Yes. Then I'm coming. How would we make a living if we gave an option that didn't lead to revenue? Uh, that's... I was confused. Either way, we're going to rob you. It's just a question of what you want in return for it. I have an immense amount of respect for Paul B. Um, I wouldn't have... I wouldn't be doing the collaborative tattoos that we do if it weren't for him blazing the trail as my predecessor. Basically, he is the most hated man in tattooing, and apparently somewhere along the line I came along and took some of the heat off him for him. So now they hate me too. Wow, that's oh, that just, that's that's that everything's <laughs> different. Wow. Oh shit. I'm glad I thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> Good thing I told him over there how to do that. Like I just taught him on a laptop. It was fun. No, I uh, wouldn't have done any of that. That's important. That's what's fun about collabs. It's different styles all yeah. coming, mixing yeah. up. You know. Totally. Nobody knows what the fuck's going on. I love it. You're going to hell now. You know that, right? Yeah. You're you were fine hell. until Paul got on. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't warn you. I forgot. I'm sorry. Yeah. There's a little fine print with getting tattooed by me that people don't always read. You go before the gates, you're gonna sign up a red flag. And does that mean that we have to go to hell because we tattooed with you? Or do we just get a management spot? I'm here to pick you up, dude. <laughs> well, I am eternally grateful.
<laughs> and, and we do the tattoo, and uh, it's almost done, and right as it's done, these fucking security guards come up that work for the race course, and they're like, you have two minutes, guys. And I'm like, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Like, seriously, you're gonna kick us out doing the most awesome shit in the whole building for charity? <laughs> so I actually go over to the head security guy and I explain it. I'm like, dude, look, I have a broken arm. I flew all the way from America. We are doing this for children with cancer for free. My ticket alone was $4,000. Like, you seriously gonna tell us we can't spend 10 more minutes on this tattoo and we have to leave? And he said, yes. Yeah, we'll just all run, we'll take turns getting kicked out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Running interference. <laughs> I'm not gonna stand for this, man. I came all the way here to watch Paul Booth do this tattoo. Please don't kick me out. It's for cancer children, man. <laughs> use the card, man. That's the card you have to use. Oh, I'm about to drop that card nicely in a yeah. moment if we need it. Hey, uh, Paul, what do you think about the uh, Gestapo coming in here? Uh, in the middle of our white highlights. We have ways of making a stop in New York. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor cancer kids, man. Right? Fucking hey, awesome. they're all gonna yeah. die. Yeah. This <laughs> thing, like, like this <laughs> keep plastic on it tonight, baby. This shit out of it. <laughs> cancer thing in the morning. <laughs> this close. Yeah. Wow. Bloody baby. Damn. Yeah. Looks fucking yeah. sore. So we hang out a lot, and we're basically hanging out until some nights, you know, seven, eight o'clock the next morning. Not doing drugs, not being weird or anything, just hanging out and really talking, like experiencing each other's pain and anguish and, and, and hatred and, and really like, really getting into it. Like I, I told Paul things that I've never told anybody else and I believe it. the same thing happened with him. It's Actually, what you just said was incredibly profound, and this is what I look like when I steal that. Because I'm going to start saying that shit now from now on. Okay. I went to college for four days and got thrown out. I'm shocked. I know. <laughs> but I also got expelled from kindergarten. But that's all. Ah, um, dude, I did too. I swear to God, I swear to God, oh, I had to go to kindergarten twice <laughs> because I was a fucking shithead. Yeah. And in all honesty, it's something that no one ever saw coming. Like, everybody in the tattoo community knows who Paul Booth is. Everybody in the tattoo community knows who I am. But we've never done anything together. And it only makes sense that we would because we're the two most hated men in tattooing. Um, why shouldn't we join forces, you know? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. So while I, I think black and gray, no offense, is a lot easier at the same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> drunk and one-handed, you know, you can still pull it off. But the actual creation of the piece is, is much more complicated for me to do, to do black and red. What do you think? Well, I think color is, uh, what do they call it, baffle them with bullshit. Uh, ah! <laughs> no. Uh, ah! If I meet somebody in public and they're talking about me not knowing I'm me, I'll make up shit about me all day long. I'll tell them what an asshole I am. I'll fucking, you know. We did that last night. You gotta have fun with it, you know, but yeah. Now how you doing, Darren White? Paul Darren Booth. White, Elliot. Brandon Darren Bond. White. Darren White. Dude, he's always <laughs> fucking pulling guns on people. This guy's an asshole. For a second there. Um, yeah. Okay, so hung up on the handshake. What's your name? This is Paul, Paul Booth. Paul Booth. Yeah. I had to think about it for a minute. Famous you, tattoo. Really? Yeah, I was trying to run through <laughs> it. Very, very famous. His color work is Shut good, up. but his black and gray <laughs> sucks. <laughs>